ओके वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी हाइपर कंजुगेशन सो हाइपर कंजुगेशन इन दिस वी शुड हैव आई डबल बॉन्ड और पॉजिटिवली चार्ज कार्बन और फ्री रेडिकल अटैच टू अ सैचुरेटेड कार्बन विच इज फर्दर अटैच टू एटलीस्ट वन सी एच सिग्मा बॉन्ड is attached to at least one ch sigma, sigma, sigma bond so these are the three cases where we can use concept of hyperconjugation either double bond carbocation or free radical attached to saturated carbon which is further attached to at least one hydrogen and carbon saturated carbon next to double bond is called alpha carbon or saturated carbon next to carbocation is known as alpha hydrogen or carbon saturated carbon next to free radical is also known as alpha carbon Carbon. and hydrogen attached to alpha carbon is known as alpha Alpha hydrogen hydrogen. clear so actually hyper conjugation is electron releasing effect clear so in this case what happened this hydrogen sigma bond sigma electrons of ch bond converted into pi bond and this pi bond is further shifted so in this way sorry this hydrogen gets positive charge this become double bond and and likewise if hydro if there are also hydrogens so we get more hyper conjugated structures now there is no ch bond between carbon and this hydrogen but it remain at the same distance as in the bonded state clear because it is not free it is attached to this pi bond system clear and that's why it is also known as no bond resonance or as sigma bond and pi bond they are in conjugation so it is also known as sigma pi conjugation same in the case with carbocation in case of carbocation ch sigma bond in h plus double bond in case of free radical you know it is homolytic cleavage so in this case one electron so so overall there is delocalization of double bond ketahin or free radical clear so there is actually there is delocalization of alkene means double bond so alkene becomes stable if there is hyper conjugation and hyper conjugation if increase then alkene become stable same as the case with carbocation if there are more ch bonds more delocalization of positive charge so more stable is the carbocation and same is the case with free radical clear so in all this hyperconjugation we can study stability of alkene by the use of hyperconjugation for example if we have ethene and propene 
So out of ethene and propene, which one is more stable? Propene. propene. Because in propene, there are three alpha hydrogens. And there is no alpha hydrogen. That's why alkene is, a propene is more stable than ethene. So it can be explained by the use of hyperconjugation. Thank you. Actually, stability of free radicals stability of even alkene, stability of free radical or stability of even carbocation. All of these are proportional to hyperconjugation. And you know, hyperconjugation is proportional to number of alpha hydrogens. Clear? So, we can explain stability of alkene, free radicals, carbocations by the use of hyperconjugation. And hyperconjugation is proportional to number of alpha, alpha hydrogens. So, more is the number of alpha hydrogens. More is the stability of alkene, free radical as well as carbocation. For example, we have we have methyl carbocation. Methyl carbocation, isopropyl carbocation, as well as tertiary butyl carbocation. Now, in first case, there is no alpha hydrogen. In ethyl, three. there are three alpha hydrogens. Mm. In case of isopropyl, six. there are six. six alpha hydrogens. In case of tertiary butyl, nine. there are nine alpha hydrogens. So, first, no alpha hydrogen. Three, three alpha hydrogens. Six, six alpha hydrogens. Nine, nine alpha hydrogens. So, as alpha hydrogen increases, Ten. that means hyperconjugation increases. So, stability of carbocation increases. Increase. So, which one is most stable? Tertiary butyl. Tertiary butyl carbocation. Okay. Then isopropyl, then ethyl, ethyl, and then methyl. Ethyl. Clear? <laughs> On the same line, we can explain the stability of free radical. Free radical. In case of free radical, same is the case. Carbocation is replaced by free radical. Clear? And stability is on the same line because carbocation as well as free radical both are electron deficient. Alternatively, we can define hyperconjugation as the order of plus I effect. Gets reversed when Attached to unsaturated system. For example, if we have methyl or ethyl. isopropyl or tertiary butyl. See there are three three alpha hydrogens. In this case there are two alpha hydrogens. 
only one alpha hydrogen, no alpha hydrogen. So, which one is more electron releasing as per hyperconjugation? CH3 alpha hydrogen. CH3. So, order of plus I effect, when it is attached to unsaturated system, methyl is more electron releasing than ethyl, which in turn more than isopropyl than tertiary. So it is also one of the application. Here alternate definition of hyperconjugation is the order of plus I effect of alkyl groups gets reversed when it is attached to unsaturated system. Further we can explain the electron releasing effect of methyl and its ortho para directing influence clear or by using same concept like if we have toni now this is system conjugated system saturated carbon these are alpha hydrogens so now it is like this that means methyl it is just like plus r effect of oh group or nh2 group negative charge is at ortho position then again lone pair become pi bond pi bond become lone pair directing influence of methyl group is explained on the basis of hyper conjugation. Right? 